Okay, Star Fox Adventures for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. What a classic, brilliant Super Nintendo game. Just, oh, it's so good. Right, let's have a look at these controls. That's the blaster, that's the boost, that's the roll, change view, that'd be handy. Up and down, break, no bomb, got it. No, I'll just get on with the game. If I crash, it's more funny, isn't it? Um, should we just do the normal? You know, if you do the thing, there's a trick you can do to get into the black hole, and you just end up on like a nether ending loop and can't finish the game. Really mean by the developers. But I think you have to jump through a few hoops to get to do it. Anyway, Star Fox Adventures, a spaceship game made in 1993 for the Super Nintendo. And the games are still being released to this very day. That's how successful they are. Although they're not nearly as good nowadays as they were. And Star Fox Adventures on the... Oh crap, it's inverse. That's confusing. Oh, break. Inverse means that when you push up it goes down, and when you push down it goes up. It's really weird. I never understood what the purpose of that is. Um, what button was pushed again? Oh, I keep pushing up to go up. I'm, it's going to take me ages to get used to that. I don't understand the point of that. What, why is that even a thing? How? It's really counterintuitive. Why would you push down to go up? What? Why? What? If I push up, I expect to go up. That's, that's generally what, why it's called up. You know, it points in an upwards direction because I go up. So why am I going down? Shut up, rabbit man. What button is boost? Is it this one? Nope, that's bomb. That one's boost. Ah, got it. I'm getting used to it now. And you can, like, do rolls and stuff as well. Woo! This actually has a purpose in this game. There's a lot of flying games like this where you don't need to ever use the roll function for the tilt. I should boost them up. What button is it again? Oh, that was great. I don't need to do that. This one! Yeah, full life, even though I already have full life. Ah! Pushed it too much. On the sequel to this, um, Star Fox 2, or as it's known in Europe, Lila Wars, for legal reasons. Because there was something else in Star Fox, so now there's some copyright claims. But anyway, in the sequel, on the first stage, you can fight the boss to this level if you do something or another. I thought that was pretty cool. Come on, where's this boss? I kick his ass! I wish I had a turbo button. Gotta shoot this red thing here. Where's Falco? I haven't seen him as well. Ah, cool boss music. Wrong oh button. Where's he gone? He's dead. Wow, how easy was that? It does get more challenging. Especially Venom. Oh, I hate that level. Where the 
There's Falco. Oh, 91% up yours. It's clearly 100. Anyway, asteroid. Does anybody actually sit and read that? Oh, you need to uh, help to change view on this one. Is it this button? No. It said select. There we go. It's just taking its time. So. Yeah. It's a lot harder in first person. In my opinion, anyway. Some people probably prefer it. I don't. It wasn't. I played this for ages and never realised you could change the view. Even though it specifically says on the opening menu. But I couldn't read very well when I was six, okay? Oh yeah, um, if you've played Majora's Mask and you've never played this game before, just watch. Keep your eye out. You'll see what I'm talking about. I think it's this level anyway. I don't think so. there's another level similar to this, but I think it's this one. I'm not wasting my ball. I love the laser sound. I wonder if it'd be silly to use the boost button. Shut up, frogman. Slippy, is it? Is it slippy? Yeah, Peppy's the hair. No, it's the hair, not a rabbit. Those are different animals. You didn't know that. Hairs are much more badass than that. I think it's Peppy O'Hare, so he must be Irish. Oh crap! Oh, this level sucks. It's all just blowing up rocks and crap. Yeah, I think it was another level where you see it. It's not this one. Okay. Come on, I hit him. Thanks for the save! Whoosh! When do I get weapon upgrades? I want a weapon upgrade. This is boring. I remember it being more fun than this. I think it's just this level. There's like nothing going on. That's exactly what space would be like, but come on man. There are a bit more in me than this. I should have done the hard difficulty. Ah, I tried to dodge it. I did ask her that. I was asking her. Ah, here we go, a boss. And this one is slightly more challenging than the previous one. I think he charges at you as well. You don't care. Shut up. Ah, time that badly. Yeah. Alright, that thing flies off now. And you just gotta attack the middle. Oh, you got me again, you dickhead. Boom. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that level, it was a bit dull. I admit that. Where were you? I didn't see him anywhere in that level again. 
He's just like flying really slow at the back, staying out of the way. Oh, I'm not gonna go get hurt. Ah, that time I got 100%. I think the previous level was because I accidentally shot the rabbit or something. Warp speed! Engage! Ah, uh, Space Armada. Okay. This could be a bit more challenging. Good luck. I don't get Andros. I don't understand what he's supposed to be. I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, this bloody change. I don't want to be the first person in this game. Ah, here we go, my first weapon upgrade. Cool. This thing wrecks, I hope I don't die. Oh, I gotta go in there. I remember this. Extra life. Fire your thunder rings at me. Ah! Dick ones. Little tiny shit like this takes out like big battle shits like that. I'll follow you in! Because I'm just a suicider that shit. Alright, this is fun. I gotta try not to be trigger happy in here because. Ow! Yay! So, because the uh, lasers open, so. Uh, I can be trigger happy here, I gotta destroy that. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Not a problem. I'm going to get that circle thing. Oh, line. You know, as good as this game is, I don't think it's as fun as Rogue Squadron 2. Thank you. That game was amazing! Star Wars game, so, you know, but, oh man, I love that game. I should use the Dolphin emulator and see if I can record it. I don't know how smooth it'd be though. And the controls might be a bit weird as well, because I'm using the next one controller. Ah! Good job I had shields on, right? Bomb. Yeah, okay, I'm not the greatest pilot that ever lived. I'm doing my best. Open up. And kill that thing over there. Ow. Flying in a straight line is hard. I got that one down. Well, this level's really long. I think I was on a skateboard. That's probably a bit against the Geneva Convention, like a space pod, like that. By order of the Galactic Senate, I place you under arrest. Okay. I love how my teammates do bugger all in this whole game. In the next game they're a lot more helpful. This one, <coughs> waste of space than even being there. Oh, here we go. Boss shit. I think it's... Oh, my things are reflecting back off me, but they're not reflecting back the correct projectiles. Because the developers were kind of lazy. Oh, this is the one where you don't want to be trigger happy. If you keep firing at them, you won't know which way they're going to go. I should probably use the slow down button at some point. 
have to say, this is emulating really well. I had it supposed to have certain issues with emulation, but no, I'm not having any problems with this at all. Uh, shoot them! And that one. I'm so glad I got this gun upgrade. Here we go! Boss! He goes on autopilot now. Because this would be way too hard to manoeuvre if I was controlling it myself. I could just lie and say, like, yeah, look how pro I am with my steering. Ah, this is one of the first challenging bosses. You gotta destroy those things around the outside. And then the middle opens up. There's one down. Ah, oh, and you go backwards, so you gotta try and remember where they... Right, up, and then down again. Ah, got me! What is that over there? I think it's... There's another one. I don't remember there being minions in this boss. Maybe I'm so pro that it was like, ah, oh, we better send minions to stop him. He's dead. You know, without Star Wars, we wouldn't have any of this. You've got to thank Star Wars for this. That, I mean, that was obviously completely influenced by the destruction of the Death Star 2. In this game, Falco has a really deep voice, but in the sequels his voice is more sort of tedious from Final Fantasy X. It's really... I don't get that. They should have just kept him having like a deep like Spock type voice, because that's obviously the role he was meant to have, like sort of a Spock character. But instead they went with some stupid bloody like, YOU ALMOST HIT ME FOX! Like, what? Oh crap, those things fall over! Whoa! This level is dark! Like a Nintendo game dark. And it is a Nintendo game, it's Super Nintendo, not Nintendo. I can understand Nintendo games having dark backgrounds because they didn't have a very big colour palette. This, this doesn't have an excuse, this should be more colourful. Oh, I missed a bomb. I could have done with that. Oh, and a weapon upgrade. Although I don't know if this can be upgraded anymore, to be honest. I think the shooty balls are the best you can have. From what I remember, I could be completely wrong about that. <laughs> you know, I don't think shooty balls are as accurate as the original gun. I'm going to say that right now. Ah, oh, what? This level's challenging. You got me again. Ah, oh, I thought you were a bad guy. You shouldn't fly in front of your bloody squadron leader, moron. You should be in formation. You're a terrible pilot. That's what happens when they let rabbits try and fly spacecraft. Oh, get him, ribbit. Go on then. Don't let him start chasing you around. Probably gonna have to rest. I didn't mean to, it's just in my flight. I don't have any bombs for the bombs. I used them all up. I think I'll just fly in between them. There's probably a power up inside there, but okay. I was watching my aim, he flew in front of me! I'm 
surprised I haven't died yet. This game's hard. Here we go. Ah, oh, I remember this. You gotta destroy his legs and he spins at you. He's really tricky. So, does he go up? Does he go down? And he fires at you as well. Ah! You'll pay for that, Captain Planet. What? Oh, I wish I had my bombs with me right now. I've done barely any damage to it as well. Just keep firing. I think one of his legs just flew off. I'm not hitting him now. Oh, he spouts fire. Fire breathing spider robot. Ah, he got me again. Ah. Oh, um, now he's finished. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> In your face. The final stage, Venom. I think Venom is a two-part stage. You start off in space and then you go down towards the planet. Oh, I need 91% again. Still get a bonus credit. Not that I need credits because the game's pretty easy. I remember it being a lot harder. I should have done the harder stages. If I'd known it'd be this easy. Venom. We are Venom! Spider-Man. Come on! Change! Why does it take so long to change? How do they get chased by enemies? I never get chased by enemies. But they only come from one direction, for goodness sake. I can do some bombs. So far this is easy. It should get harder. I'm just wrecking everything. Bomb! Yay! And another one! No. Oh yeah, it just took its time to show up. Boring! They're just like coming up one at a time, just into my firing line. Slippy, why don't you get out of my bloody way? Yeah! Not that I needed health. Uh, getting more numerous now. Again? What is it with you? And then he just hangs around in front of me, getting shot. Get out my flight path! I do more damage to him than they do. Boss. Ah uh, yes, I remember this. How do you beat him again? 
Ah, oh, just keep shooting him and hope it does damage. I think you just gotta hit him. He's not that tough, really. Oh, you got a guess which one's going to do. Oh, he's split to multi forms. Ah, now he's getting difficult. He's regenerating his health, I think. He's dead anyhow. He was easy. Part 2, please. Actually, it's more of a three part because you go down to the planet and then right at the end of the that stage you go into like a fortress to fight the final boss. Yay, 100%! And I still haven't died. Uh, this could be the end of my streak because this is where it gets proper challenging. That way. Yeah, the arrows kind of give it away. It's kind of dumb of Andros to paint big giant arrows on this uh, booby trap to tell you which way they're going to try and kill you. But you know, he's not the smartest tool in the box. He's only a monkey. He's good at making robots and ships and stuff, but his ow. his strategic abilities are limited. It's no good bluffing. I can tell which way you're going to move. You have a big triangle telling me which way you're going. Crap. Crap. God's sake, Slippy, I'm trying to concentrate. I don't need to keep rescuing you all the time. I would fire his ass if I was Fox. He's absolutely useless. Health back and lose it all again. Those things are the toughest enemies in the game by far. I think these can be destroyed. I'll go for the middle one, please. Whoa! Whoa! Weapon upgrade. Worth it. I don't think that was much of an upgrade. God, this game's easy. Boss? Yeah, it's the same boss I fought before, but he's got more abilities now. He evolves. What's it supposed to be, anyway? He, he grows legs or something now. Come on, hurry up. I want to finish this recording already. Oh, sinister music! Buy a bomb. I find like some help. Thank you. I'm not going to use my final bomb. I mean, I can probably get more in the next stage. But... You fail, crappy, big legged boss type thing. You fail. I fail, I'm trying to hit his damn eye. Four. There we go. He's dead. That's it, no more transformations. Final stage, here we come. Andros.
that is the weirdest entrance to a fortress. And it's conveniently designed so I can fly through it in this enormous triangular shaped ship. Yeah, you're not, you're rubbish. Your grasp of computer AI is very, very limited. Ow. Whoa, I nearly flew too far then. Ah! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Man. Uh, I think you'll find that since I've completed this game many, 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 many times that they are more than a match for you. Right, so this, you've got to shoot him in the eyes. Dodge sort of squares that he throws at you. This is the hardest boss in the game by far, by the way. Just push to the left. He can't suck you in there. Oh, now he fires on you. You can't hurt him when his eyes are orange either. They have to be blue. Baby blue. Uh, I'm probably going to die from that. Quite tricky. Ah! Oh. Even with my ball. I don't even get awarded with health or anything. Really unfair. One's down. Good, good. Go for the other one. Once I get rid of that last eye, it's a piece of cake. Wow. I think he's still going to manage to kill me somehow, isn't he? Jack -off. Whoa, it's confusing as heck! I'm nearly dead! Come on! Get that eye! Ah, oh, damn it! I wonder if I should use a bomb. I can't remember what button is the bomb. That button. Does that do anything? Yes! Right, now he turns into a giant floating cube. Now I can't remember what a taxi does, so... Is that it? Is he dead? Oh my god, I did it! That's it. And that's what I was saying earlier, I don't understand what Andros exactly is. He always appears as just his face. So... You obviously never fight him personally, he's obviously the same robots with his likeness attached to them. Because I doubt very much that he's just a giant floating cube with his face on it. He's probably just sat in some office somewhere on like a little computer controlling everything. And that's another thing I don't understand. They always go after his stupid robots, they never actually go after him. And they're like, oh yeah, we destroyed Andros. But you didn't. You just destroyed a cube with his face on it. That clearly wasn't Andros. Hence why there are loads of sequels. I narrowly finished that. That was really, really close. I'd also like to mention that this is one of those games that I believe that when you get past the end credits, you have to switch the machine off to start again. There's no go back to main menu or something. It doesn't loop back around. No, it just freezes. And I really, really don't like that. It's not hard to create a button or an option that takes you back to the start. I can do that. It's a simple, it's like two lines of code at most, if that. Total score, 55,000. And I can't work out if that's a 3 or an 8. I think it's an 8. That was the easiest I've ever beaten Star Fox. I've never beaten it that easily before. Oh, they're speaking English! Corneria, the home world. 
a stage fright at the start of the game. Let's just quickly have a look at the bosses. They were pretty much the only one that I really struggled with was Andros at the end. He, I came close to the edge on that one. Right, that's boss to the wall. Everything else was a bit of a joke, really, wasn't it? come up with the frozen screen that you can't get past? Oh, it's the credits. Actually, I think it's frozen on this. No, it's not. Anyway, I'm wasting time. I, I don't know, I like the music. I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this. Great music. Didn't they make Croc? I'm sure they made Croc. support how long are these credits going to last is there any point in carrying on watching now that the music stopped and that's the whole point, reason I'm still recording because I like the music and now there's no music so I'm thinking yeah no one really cares who made this game do they nah 